Sight Sound Sleevers on YouTube, SightSoundSleevers.com, ExploringKentucky.com. We're outside of the Simpson County Courthouse. County name for Captain John Simpson, one of the nine officers killed at Battle of River Basin, January 22nd, 1813, for whom Kentucky County is named. Fought under Mad Anthony Wayne, Battle of Fallen Timber, 1794. Settled in Shelby County, Kentucky. Speaker of Kentucky House, 1811, Congressman. County form from Allen Logan Warren. Cut off three mile strip along Logan County, added in 1869. And uh, this is the courthouse here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, walk along and show you what we see. Got uh, Kelly Corn candy shop. Got a jeweler's cozy corner. Carolyn Con Moore, Carrie Con Moore, the first woman to serve in Kentucky Senate, was born in Logan County. I see a lot of Logan County stuff, but we're in Simpson County, but uh, we are in historic downtown Franklin. The weather is absolutely beautiful here. You couldn't pay me to drive one of those little cars, but they're great for the environment. Franklin Sporting Goods. Is this the uh, current courthouse or the old courthouse? I have no idea. I'm sorry, oh. I'm not from. Oh, it's okay. All right, thank you. Where are you from? Uh, Nashville. Cool, you want to say hello? Sure. All right, so you're from Nashville, Tennessee? Yeah, I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. And what are you doing over this way? Uh, I'm getting my cat fixed because oh. prices in Tennessee, prices in or Nashville are outrageous. Okay, cool. Do you have like an Instagram or something? I don't. <gasps> I'm I'm very boring. I, I have a Facebook and that's it. Okay. All right. Well, what's your Facebook? Um, Elizabeth Burns. I'm just... I'm okay, maybe I'll shoot you a, a link to the video. Yeah, sure. All right, cool. Nice Thank meeting you. you. Take care. Good luck with your cat. Thanks. Yep. So I like to show people the video. I assume everybody's got an Instagram, but a lot of people don't. Lucy Lou's dog grooming. I gotta tell you, this is a big city. Was not expecting this at all. Been to Morgantown today, which was uh, small, you know. And um, Henderson, Hartford. Been to a few cities. job of maintaining the courthouse. Annabelle and Ash. Is that the same girl? No, it's a different, oh, actually those are two girls. I thought that was the same girl that I got the Facebook from. I like these uh, lights, they're pretty cool. And it looks like they're having like some sort of uh, prom pictures or something like that. Love the trees. And it's, it's great because they provide a lot of shade as you can see. And um, it's not hot right now by any means. But uh, you know, as we get into May, June, July, July, August, it's gonna be scorching hot. Yeah, let's walk into the courthouse a little bit. And again, you know, I focus on the city centers, the downtowns, that sort of thing. DC Walker, Sons of Confederate Veterans. So I've been seeing a lot of Confederate memorials in this part of the state. 
Don't really see any in eastern Kentucky, especially southeastern Kentucky. And that's because that part of the state was very pro-union. And this part of the state actually broke away. We were just in Russellville, and Russellville was actually site of a Confederate convention where Kentucky actually broke away from the Union. Some like 60 plus delegates from 60 plus counties, or actually over 100 delegates from 60 plus counties met there and uh, broke away. So, hello. So, this part of the state, you see a lot of Confederate monuments and, uh, and this sort of thing. Doesn't bother me one bit. It's history. That's how I look at it. But, uh, nice church here. And, uh, celebrating 200 years, 1820 to 2020. Incredible. I like that they have clear cut walkways for pedestrians. That's super important. And it seems like uh, motor vehicles respect pedestrians, or I should say the drivers of the motor vehicles respect pedestrians, which is pretty cool. We're gonna kind of walk over here a little bit. This is not really downtown so much, but I wanna see what this is all about over here. I see the uh, Commonwealth flag and the American flag. I see a historical sign over here. So this is the Simpson County Historical Society, and this is the jailer's residence. The jailer's residence was built in Greek Revival style circa 1835. Wow, look at that, nice. It is one of the oldest buildings in Franklin and was used as a jail from 1860 to 1879. It housed Confederate prisoners during the Civil War who left graffiti on the walls. This building was converted to the jailer's residence after the jail was built in 1879. And then you've got uh, historical center here, which explains why you've got Old Glory and the Confederate, excuse me, in the, what am I saying, in the Commonwealth's flag. It's easy to uh, have that little bit of uh, mental confusion. There's a lot of Confederate uh, monuments and, and throwbacks here and also, uh, Munfordville's a rock throw from here. There's some pretty major battles there. I saw something, I, I don't remember which city it was, but it was a city that I visited today where, actually I think it was Henderson, which is like shocking, but there was a Confederate raid trying to enforce the Confederate draft, which is mind boggling because you know, the idea that there would be a draft in a state that wasn't even part of the Confederacy. But, you know, on this side of the state, that's arguable because according to those 100 plus delegates from 60 counties, they broke away. They named a governor and they even named a, a capital for the Confederate state, which is Bowling Green. But um, this also shows a different side of the state with regards to uh, coal, whereas Eastern Kentucky coal is sort of dead. Western Kentucky coal is booming. So got some folks here on the left that are miffed at the fact that I'm filming. Now, if I was a First Amendment auditor, I would point the camera at them and make them feel all kinds of uncomfortable, but the goal of Sight Sound Slavers is quite the opposite. I want to make people like to see the camera. There's our noisy pickup truck. Got to have one in every video of Kentucky. We didn't have one for Henderson, which was a bit of a letdown, but the goal 
of his channel is to get folks to say, look, I never realized that Franklin, Simpson County, Kentucky was so beautiful. Let me come check it out. Look at that car. I love your car. What kind of car is it? Can I video it? What, what kind of car is it? Oh my gosh, it's awesome. This is exploringkentucky.com. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. I love that car. It is so cool. All right, guys. So I hope that you enjoyed Franklin, Simpson County, Kentucky for Sight Sound Slavers on YouTube, sightsoundslavers.com, exploringkentucky.com. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you for the next one.